Chris Middleton in about 90 minutes of play in the NBA Finals has shot exactly zero free throws. This is a guy who most of the time, most every matchup he sees on the court, he has a physical advantage. And he's shot zero free throws. Drew Holiday, who also enjoys a physical advantage against most of his matchups, shot three free throws last night. Uh, so there's a lot of talk about Bud needing to get those guys going in order for the Bucks to have a chance. But at some point, when you're shooting as poorly as they have, the thought process should be, I need to generate offense one way or another, and I'm really good at shooting free throws, and I'm really big, and guys kind of struggle to guard me when I use my physical advantages. I should be living at the free throw line. But no, no, for Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday gave us a bunch of fadeaway jumpers over nobody. And, and, and to be honest with you, Dan, I have zero confidence that the Bucs can win a game. Really? A game. What in their history gives us uh, the confidence that they'll make adjustments? They don't do that. They don't do that. And the Suns are outplaying them in every facet of the game. Their role players are so bought in and invested and crisp at running their stuff. They don't, you don't ever see anybody elicit the kind of speech that Patrick Ewing gave that one kid at Georgetown about when have you ever taken that shot? When have you ever made that shot for you to take it in a game? Everyone's playing within themselves, within the flow of the offense. And meanwhile, the Milwaukee Bucks are looking around like, ah, we'll get into it when we get into it. I mean, even Bud's post-game comments, I don't know if you guys heard it. He was like, yeah, you know, I, I'm confident those, those guys are going to get going. When? When? You got two games left. When they go home. Why? Because they're going home. And that yeah. tends to change when teams go home and are desperate. And you saw the stats the last time that I believe that – a team was down 2-0 and was a favorite in the next game. It was Cleveland returning home after being down to Golden State for two games, and they won by like 30 points because when a team goes home down 2-0 and is a legitimately good team, that team tends to win game three. I'm, I'm beginning to question everything I've thought about the Milwaukee Bucks. Since the Miami series, they, they haven't played well. They play well in pockets, but the level of basketball that they've done, dare I say it, this, was, this, this is one of the worst teams in finals history because most of the time when it's a team that's outmatched, A, they played really great through the first three rounds. B, they're just outmatched. This is a better team. So Cleveland, the year they got swept by the Warriors. God bless them. They're doing everything they can, but they're just not good enough, right? compared to the Warriors. Cleveland, when they went to the finals against the Spurs, they're just not good enough, but they play great at every stage. Since the Miami series, Milwaukee hasn't played well, right? They got lucky because Harden and Kyrie got hurt, and even then, they almost lost that one. They got lucky because Trey Young got hurt, and if Trey Young doesn't get hurt in that, they probably lose that one too. You're playing a dangerous game, though, changing your mind in the middle of a series, which allows you to be wrong a number of different times and ways. The best way is just to stick to whatever it is you thought before the two games, because now you're, if you're beginning Don't to you want to see Milwaukee at home once, I, we need Milwaukee to win just so that we can get to Maria Taylor's contract yes. <laughs> oh, because, yeah. she, because she is signed, I think through game five. So we can't have that series. In fact, you might see some officiating disparities <laughs> right now. You think that if uh -huh. the bucks aren't shooting free throws right now, wait uh -huh. till they get to Milwaukee and everyone tries to get away from Maria Taylor, it's, making a decision man, in game it, six. It's a real catch. 22 for ESPN because a sweep they lose money on the finals a game five they break even and when you take Maria Taylor's contract into account not so much they need this puppy to go at least six if it goes seven buku bucks I'm really surprised I mean that you would bail after two games especially when the last one is just the Suns making threes at a rate that they normally don't that nobody makes threes in the finals but that's not why they won I mean it helped definitely but it's not why they won they won because they played well, and they played well almost every game in these playoffs since game three against the Lakers. I mean, can you explain this to me? Because, yeah, they shot well from three, but they were generating so many open looks. The ball movement looked like Spurs against the there Heat. There were 10 passes on one position. It was, it was incredible. What are we seeing defensively? Because it, it's hard after that offensive performance to really remember, like Chris Whittingham said, a week ago, we thought Giannis was done playing basketball for oh. a year. Defensively, are we seeing some effects of that injury? Yeah, so I, I should start with the glass half full, which is 
this is nothing short of a, a medical miracle. Holy bleep what he did in that game last it's night. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable that nine days earlier, this guy's leg looked like a flamingo with the knee on the back. And I said, there's no chance he didn't do like one of the, the great ones of ACL, MCL, PCL capsule. All. That's what should have happened on that play. Then the next day they said, oh, it's no rupture. It's just strained, which means that the ligaments are stretched to the point of rupture, but not quite rupture. Maybe there's even partial tearing. Still something I'm like, well, he's going to be off his feet for a while. Then they say he's going to play game one. And I'm like, ah, that's a smoke screen. He plays game one. I said, oh, not bad. And then last night, I'm like, wait a second. This guy was hurt nine days earlier? What? This is one of the great recovery jobs of all time. And unfortunately, it's being wasted because the Bucks are being the Bucks again. 